Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, beloved viewers in Christ. We welcome you to the Daily Fountain devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Today, the sixth day of December 2023. Our topic is do not be spiritually blind and deaf. Our test is Isaiah chapter 42 from verse 18 to the end. Let us pray. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you I want to see you open the eyes of my heart Lord open the eyes of my heart I want to see you I want to see you, to see you high and lifted up, shining in the midst of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing Holy, 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 I want to see you, I want to see you, everlasting King of glory. Creator of the universe, we give you thanks and praise for this beautiful day. We ask, O oh God, that as we go into your word, open the eyes of our hearts. Grant us illumination. Grant us understanding as we go through your word. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Our test again. Is Isaiah chapter 42 from verse 18 to the end. Hear, you deaf, look, you blind, and see who is blind but my servant, and deaf like the messenger I send. Who is blind like the one committed to me, blind like the servant of the Lord? You have seen many things, but have paid no attention. Your ears are open, but you hear nothing. It pleased the Lord for the sake of his righteousness, to make his law great and glorious. But this is a people plundered and looted, all of them trapped in pits or hidden away in prisons. They have become plunder with no one to rescue them. They have been made loot with no one to say, send them back. Which of you will listen to this or pay close attention in time to come? Who handed Jacob over to become loot and Israel to the plunderers? Was it not the Lord against whom we have sinned? For they would not follow his ways. They did not obey his law. So he poured out on them his burning anger, the violence of war. It enveloped them in flames, yet they did not understand. It consumed them, but they did not take it to heart. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Our topic again says, 
Do not be spiritually blind and deaf. Blindness physically is the inability to see. When one is blind, the whole body is in darkness. Just as Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, from verse 22 to 23, he said the lamp of the body is the eye. And if therefore the eye is good, then the whole body will be full of light. But if the eye is bad, if the eye is blind, then the whole body will be filled with darkness. When one is not able to see, the person is filled with darkness. And we are talking about spiritual blindness in this place. The word of God tells us in that verse 18, he said, hear you deaf, look you blind and see. Who is blind? Spiritual blindness can be said to be someone that is totally blind to the truth and to the word of God. Totally blind to the law of the Lord. One that cannot be able to know what God is saying in his word. We will not be able to discern what God is saying at a particular time. Spiritual deafness, just as we know that ordinary deafness, somebody that is not hearing the voices of other people. It is also the same thing. When one is spiritually deaf, it means that he cannot hear, listen to what God is saying at a particular point in time. We must, as children of God, understand what God is saying and be able to see what he is doing at every point in time and season. And God was saying in that verse 19, he said, who is blind but my servant? And deaf like the messenger I send. We are the children of God. We are the servants of God. We are the messengers of God. But when God is speaking one thing. And we are doing another. It means that we are not following what God is saying. It is one thing for God to tell us the message to pass out. Is another thing for us to pass out that message. When God speaks a word and we decide to keep that word and speak out our own word from ourselves, it means we are deaf to what God is saying. It means we are blind to the things that God is doing. He said his servant is blind and his messenger is deaf because we are not relating the things that he has shown us correctly. We are not relating the words he has spoken to us correctly. He said in verse 20, he said, you have seen many things, but have paid no attention. We are seeing what God is doing in our homes, in the church, in our nation, but as believe us. As the servants of God, what are we doing to carry out the purpose of God? What are we doing to be able to put the word of God in action? God is saying in this place, he said we have seen many things. We have seen the hand of God in our lives, in our nation, in our church. But how much commitment have we put in into what God has shown us? How much have we taken to heart the things that God has shown us? How much have we worked with what he has told us? He also continued by saying that your ears are open, but you hear nothing. God has never stopped speaking. 
God is still speaking even now. He's talking to us day by day, minute by minute, hour by hour, week by week. But how are we doing what we are hearing? Are we really listening to the voice of God? He said, my servants are deaf. It is one thing to hear. It is another thing to listen. Are we listening to what God is saying to us? Or we are doing what our mind is telling us to do? Are we listening to what Jehovah God is speaking to us? Through his word. Through the word he has given to us. Are we obeying the law of the Lord? Are we following after what he has said? Because God is saying in this place, it's our ears are open, but we hear nothing. It can be likened to what Paul wrote in Romans chapter 1. If we read it from verse 18 down, Romans chapter 1 from verse 18. He said the wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against all the godlessness and wickedness of men who suppress the truth by their wickedness. Knowing the truth of the word of God, yet we pay deaf ears to the truth of God's word. Today in our world, truth have become lie and lie have become truth. We have Turn good to bad and bad to good. Even right in the church. And God is lamenting, telling us in that Isaiah that look, we have ears, ears that are open, but yet we hear nothing. If you continue in that Romans, he said, he says, since what may be known about God is plain to them because God had made it plain to them. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his internal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that men are without excuse. You see, for although they knew God, they neither glorified him as God, nor gave thanks to him, but their thinking became futile, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of God, the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like mortal man, birds and animals and reptiles. He said they knew God, but they never glorified God. They knew the truth, but they never lived by the truth. And they never gave thanks to him. That is what God is saying in this place, that we have ears open. Yet we are not hearing what he's saying. And the verse 21 said, It pleased the Lord for the sake of his righteousness to make his law great and glorious. The law of God is great. What God has given to us is his word. He has given us his word to obey. When we don't obey the word of God, we become spiritually blind. When we don't listen to the word of God, we become spiritually deaf. And that is not the purpose of God for us. There are so many things that can make us to be spiritually deaf and blind. When we allow the things of this world to creep into our lives, when we allow the things that the enemy have brought forth in this end time to weaken our Christian faith, to come into our lives, then our vision will be blurred. We can no longer see what God wants us to see. Then we can no longer hear the voice of God. When we give our hearts to the pleasures of the world, just like 1 John chapter 2, verse 15 and 16 said, when we give our heart to the pleasures of the world, when we look at the pride of life and take it to ourselves, I tell you, we will not see spiritually. Our spiritual sight will be darkened and our heart will be darkened. And in that Romans that we were reading, he said that 
For although they knew God, they neither glorified Him as God, nor gave thanks to Him. But their thinking became futile, and their hearts, foolish hearts, were darkened. Our hearts can be darkened when we allow the word of God not to sink into it. Our hearts can be darkened by the time we pay deaf ears to the warnings of God. Day by day, God speaks his word. Day by day, God warns us through his law. Yet we continue just as Paul wrote in 2 Timothy chapter 3. Paul said there that in the last days, perilous times will come. In the last days. He said, mark this. There will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves. Lovers of money. Boastful. Proud. Abusive. Disobedient to their parents. Ungrateful. Unholy. Without love. Unforgiving. Slanderous without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. These things that are happening in these are days, these are the things that we make our hearts to be darkened, that we can no longer hear when God is speaking. And because of that, God said, in verse 22 of our test, which is Isaiah 42, he said, But this is a people plundered and looted, all of them trapped in pits, hidden away in prisons. They have become plunder with no one to rescue them. They have been made loot with no one to say, send them back. God so depended on his servants. God so depended on us his messengers, to speak the word he speaks, to tell the people, to give them, show them the way out of the pit, out of bondage. And God so made us his servants to be there for him. But instead, we have allowed the people to be plundered because we have not given them the right message. We have allowed the people that God has placed under our care to become a plunder, to be trapped in pits, to be hidden away in prisons. There is no one to say restore. There is no one to rescue them because the servants of the Lord have become deaf. They have become so spiritually blind that they are no longer saying what God what them to say. And he went ahead to ask us, which of you will listen to this or pay close attention in time to come? It is God's desire for us to wake up from our slumber. It is God's desire for us to come out of the deafness and spiritual blindness. He wants us to listen to him attentively. And so, As believers, as Christians, we must listen to God. It is only when we follow his ways, when we obey his law, then we can have clear spiritual insight. If not, like he said in verse 25, that he will pour out his anger. He will envelop in flames. If we continue to live in spiritual blindness, if we continue to live in deafness to the word of God, if we allow the enemy to take over our hearts, the fire of God of judgment will burn. And that will not be good for us. So as children of God, let us pray and ask God to open the eyes of our hearts. Let us ask God to give us spiritual illumination. Let our ears be open to hear God. That in times like this, like the children of Issachar, who understand times and season, we too, we will understand the time and season we are. 
especially in our nation, Nigeria. The servants of the Lord, we should not be spiritually blind. We should not be spiritually deaf. We should wake up from our slumber and listen to our Father who speaks to us day and night. I pray that God will help us to be spiritually alert in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you, Lord God, for your word. We ask, O oh God, that you forgive our unfaithfulness. Deliver us from every spiritual blindness. Deliver us from spiritual deafness. Open the heart of our eyes. Open us up, O oh God. Open our ears, O oh God. And help us to hear you when you speak to us. Help us to understand and help us to see that we may walk aright. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.